Yorkshire pudding. Today we are making Jamie Oliver's recipe for Yorkshire pudding. Just like we used to have in England when we lived there. And so we're gonna do a great Sunday roast. And of course, every Sunday roast needs Yorkshire pudding. But first you measure out the flour. The flour I got from Costco. I got this measuring scale from work because I went to the health fair and then put myself in the raffle. And they gave me this Vitamix scale. There we go, 115 grams, three eggs, also from Costco. Organic free range eggs from Costco. 285 milliliters of milk. How do you do that with this? Well, we're gonna wing it because it has a 250 milliliter mark and a 300. So I'm gonna do it in between. Okay, that's in between 250 and 300. Ooh, see, measure your hand first. So I'm just putting a pinch in there. Maybe a little bit more than a pinch. Now whisk it all together. We have a lot of recipes here that in our house that come from Europe. And that's where the scale is really helpful. It's not very common in American recipes, but uh, in European recipes, they just use the scale for measuring, which is a lot more accurate. Woo! So I've got hot muffin tins here. I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of oil into each of the muffin tin holes. The traditional way of doing Yorkshire pudding is to use the drippings from the roast that you're doing in conjunction with making the pudding. But here, we're gonna do it vegetarian style. It is a lot of oil, but I just made granola yesterday and the granola used a cup of oil just to make granola. So oil is necessary. I'm gonna put these back into the oven to make, to get them really hot. And then we'll put the batter in. I think this is too hot. Let's see how this goes. For 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Christopher, you can save this for an hour now. So for Sunday roast, we are doing pork shoulder butt. Did you know that the butt is not from the butt of the pork, but is actually from the shoulder? They're not very even, because I didn't know how much stuff to put in each one. So some of them got huge, <laughs> and some of them uh, are quite low. That looks good. Mm. Okay, so all in all, pretty good. It needs more salt. So when I dumped out a lot of that salt, I should have put it in. It's, it's a little too oily. oily. And maybe it's not done enough. Yeah, yeah. that's great. That's definitely not good. I like it, I like it. Thank you for joining Chris's um, Sunday Roast Yorkshire Pudding Special. First time I've ever made this. There's gonna be more to come. <laughs>